What is up everybody, I am Eric. Welcome back to my channel, All About Tech. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to erase your iPhone and get it ready to be sold. So it is that time of year again when the new iPhones are coming out and you are wondering what you should do before you sell your phone. So in this video, I will walk you through the steps you need to take before you sell your phone. All right, so the first step you need to do is make sure you have a backup for your phone. This ensures an easy setup when you get your new phone. You'll be able to just put all your data from your previous phone onto your new phone. Makes it super simple setup. So I definitely recommend this. And there's two options that you can take to back up your phone. One is using a computer. And if you're using Mac OS Mojave or earlier, then this is gonna be done through iTunes. So you can just plug your phone in and open up iTunes and you can back up all your data. Or if you have already upgraded to the new Mac OS, Mac OS Catalina, this will be moved to Finder now. And so the other method which I prefer is to use iCloud. And so this will allow you to back up your data into the cloud. And then when you set up, you'll also just be able to sign into your iCloud account and it'll download straight from the cloud. And so you don't have to plug it into your computer. So in order to do this from iCloud, go ahead and jump into your settings menu. And then you will tap on your profile, which will bring up the Apple ID menu. And then you'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit and go into iCloud. From there, you can see the first thing is going to show you your storage. Make sure you have enough storage in your iCloud to back up all your data. If you don't, you're gonna to have to revert to the previous method I talked about. You're gonna go ahead and plug it into your computer and back it up that way. Um, but as long as you have iCloud and enough storage, then go ahead and scroll down to iCloud Backup. It should be turned on. If it's not turned on, you can turn it on now. Um, so click on that. That'll bring up the backup menu, which in there you can see iCloud Backup. Make sure that's turned on and then click backup now. It'll also tell you below that when the last time your phone was backed up. So just make sure to hit backup now so you have a fresh copy of everything on your phone. And also Apple recommends unpairing your Apple Watch if you had one paired to that before you delete all your information from your phone. So the next step you wanna take before you erase all your content from your phone is to turn off Find My Phone. If you don't do this, it actually locks out the next user. So if you forgot to turn this off and they try to activate it, they won't be able to activate the phone. Um, this is just a measure of precaution. If somebody steals your device, they're not able to delete everything off your phone and then activate it. Um, so they'll need you to turn that off before they, they can actually use a device. So this is a very important step. So in order to find that setting, it depends which software you're using. If you're using iOS 13, go into settings, and then at the very top, click on your Apple ID. From there, it will be in the Find My app. From there, you can turn Find My iPhone off. If you're using iOS 12 or below, then it's gonna be in a different setting. So go ahead and jump back into settings, click on your Apple ID again, and then you'll go down to iCloud and down below where um, iCloud backup is, find my iPhone is, will be in there. And so you can turn it off from there. If you do forget to do this, there is a way to do it remotely. So if you already sold your phone and forgot to turn it off, you can do this. And it's gonna be done through iCloud.com, but I definitely recommend doing this first to just avoid the hassle. So after you have backed up your phone, and switched off Find My iPhone, you're ready to erase your phone. So you go ahead and jump back into the settings. You'll scroll down to the general tab and then scroll to the bottom. And second from the bottom is reset. So click reset. And then you will hit erase all content and settings. So this is gonna completely wipe your phone off. So make sure you have a backup. And once you do that, it will go to the Apple logo and it will start clearing off all the data from your phone. Once that's finished, that'll take usually a couple minutes depending on the storage of your phone. And after that, it'll take you to the setup screen like when you first got your iPhone. 
So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. If you found this very helpful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.